Hi everyone, I'm back as promised to show you how to make your own bird feeders. So I've decided to put the string on first because if they hadn't had set then all the seeds would have fallen off. So all I've done is I've tied it round like I said I was going to. I've tied it in case you want to make a smaller hoop but depending on the size of the tree where you want to put it I've left it optional so it's really long. So all I'm going to do, I've got my bowl ready. I'm going to open my peanut butter and with a big spoon, I'm going to smother it. So pop it in the bowl. I've also got a tray because it can be a little bit messy. Now I am doing this in my living room. I'm being brave because it's too cold in the kitchen to sit on the floor and show you. So quite a generous bit. Smothering it on so it's really thick and ideally you don't want to see any of the cracks on the pine cone. Right. My cat seems to think that she can eat peanut butter. And surprisingly she actually is. <laughs> nope, that's not for you. So I'm putting quite a lot on. I've got to show you this, it's quite funny. She's eating peanut butter. Who knew? Cats like peanut butter. I give them normal food and sometimes as a treat I give them cheese and they don't like cheese but yet they like peanut butter. Bizarre. So now it is starting to get onto my fingers but it doesn't matter. I'm making sure that I've covered it all. I did buy two tubs of peanut butter because I have got quite a lot to do. But I reckon maybe two tubs would probably do you eight pine cones or maybe more. Right, so it's starting to get really thick now and look really gooey, which would be ideal for children as they love mess, don't they? I've actually got a little brother and he's 10 and I know he would love doing this, especially if I told him I'm letting him do it in the living room. Right, so I'm literally holding on to the top, that's the only bit I haven't touched yet. There's probably a lot of people out there licking lips at peanut butter. Right, so by now it is really messy and gooey. So, I've got my seed. I'm going to tip half of this bag into the bowl. Just make a bigger roll. And I would rather show you step by step, because then that way if there's anything that I came across, I can tell you not to do that it that way. Right. So we've got plenty of seed in there. Put that on the tray. And I am still covering it in peanut butter. Even the bottom. And now the top. And then what I'm going to do, if I can move this down a little bit, I can fetch the ball up to show you. I'm going to use a string and I'm going to hold it by the string and I'm just literally going to dip it. So it is now in the bowl and I am literally just going to roll it round as much as I can. Keeping that string out and getting as much seed on as possible. Again, I'm trying to keep that string out of the bowl. I'm 
and with my hands any bit that's not covered with peanut with sorry with seed I'm just going to smother with the seed making sure all that peanut butter is covered so a thing that I have come across is it might even be worth maybe using newspaper um, to pop them onto but I have got a tray So there we have it, a homemade pine cone, healthy, fattening, for any songbird, feeder, which was quite easy to make and I would say it's probably taken me, what, in total 10 minutes if that. So as I said, I've done it step by step for you all to see. So I will literally put that on some cling film or some foil. And I'll sit that on the side and just let that dry. And then tomorrow I will hang it out in the garden for the birds. So I hope you all enjoyed that. And hope you all have a go at home and giving it a little try. And hope you have as much fun as what I did. Thank you for watching. Take care. Bye.